going to create this video. I mean, today we are going to finish this painting that we showed you last week. It's acrylic on a 5x7, and I'm using the Master Touch paintings for paints. And um, I've already got a few colors out. I am using the Method Gel Acrylic Medium from uh, Master Touch. Uh, last week, all of my first touch stuff was on sale. And, um, so, with that being said, I am going back up. I am using the favorite Artifact Artifa A. And you can use any brush you want. I mean, if you got a brush you like, use it. I mean, don't use, you don't have to use what I use, and you don't have to use the paints that I use. I am going in, first of all, with the uh, Chrome Oxydox, Oxydox Green from uh, the Master Touch line. Like I said, this is all Master Touch. Uh, I like the medium, and this is the review, um, this week's review is going to be on the medium of the Master Touch. I like how it does. It is thick. Oh, this one is, um, uh, now I don't know about all of them. This is the only one I've ever used of the Master Touch. And, uh, like I said, I'm just doing the background again. And I'm doing <coughs> fine wires. is because I want to show the green different greens instead of trying to do a lot of the green background I'm just doing just layering my green As I said last week, and I'll say it again, I do not sell my work. All my work is my personal. I keep, uh, I don't make a living doing this. I do this for fun. This is my hobby. So, I change directions of my hobby every so often. Okay, now I'm going to rinse my brush. And I am going to concentrate on this panel right here.
I'm going to take my little menstrual and I'm going to just spray my palette because I don't want it to dry out on me and it is humid here. Not as humid and hot as it has been. Okay, I am taking a number five wool a simple grip soft grip. Now I'm going in with the yellow and I am going in with the mid medium and why I'm using this one is because it does have a pretty good short run, I mean a fine point round. And I'm just layering my yellows. And a lot of, I mean, to get the realistic look that a lot of people want, and some people don't want the realistic look, you don't want to do the realistic. Because it is so time consuming. I will be the first one to admit that I like the looks of the. If I can make it pop off that page and look like it's a picture side of the painting, I've done what I wanted. <laughs> Don't mean I do it. Because it takes lots and lots of practice, and I st I'm still learning each day. I mean, as my husband, I watch videos daily on different techniques and stuff. Now, I always show y'all, I'm going to show and yeah, I mean, so many different mediums. I know y'all can do that. I got to eat that dollar tree. It's good. And then you know, the back is full. It's a five for a buck. And I can put my branches. I got this. is just my acrylic. Uh, deal. I got my blending. I got my fatty gel. And my cheesecake. Pressy and my little spray bottle and all my acrylic paint. And when I get ready to do acrylic paint, all I have to do is this and my acrylic paint. Uh, seems to be working for me. It does help.
Okay. Now, when I say I'm putting this, the mat down in the, uh, in a double container, and this is why. Y'all see that? Gross. I mean, it don't make that big of a difference, but I don't want it in a container on this side looking like this. Does that make sense? So, I just use one of these, get some out, put it in here. And I'm going to put this in that as soon as I clean it. Well, I'll have it for my next time. I am trying to get more organized. What well, I feel like doing, I mean, a lot of times, just getting everything done is the headache of it all. Taking the pink, and I am going to go in and just lightly. And this is a fill brick. I'm using a fill brick six again. And this is from a best oh fun touch. to reach your brushes mostly with acrylics and all really really well and um, when you're using um, watercolors it's not so I mean they rinse out Okay, I am going to take a number 12, and this is from Fine Touch. These are pretty cheap pencils. Pencils. Paint brushes. And I am going to work on this background because I'm not liking all these lines. And I am going in with the medium, and I'm just going in with the uh, light green. And just going in. I mean, I'm doing it thin, but this brush is so big that it's trying to eliminate, hopefully, some of the lines. I might get more medium. And if I do, that's no big deal. I mean, that's why you buy a big jig of it. I do paint on the table. I've, uh, I've got a drafting table that I can move up and down or tilt. I, I like to paint at an angle. I don't like it, you know, straight up. I don't like it straight down. I like the angle. Uh, I don't paint usually on an easel because I just don't. I just never cared for it. Uh, so, and this table is probably, I say, three foot by four foot. It's huge. I mean, I could do a pretty good. I mean, I've got paints and I mean, my paint brushes for all, with for my watercolor, my oils, my acrylics, colored pencils, all in these those little containers. So, yeah. Plus a rack, 
the exponentials component that I have that is paintings that stand. Okay, I'm going back over this with the pink, and I'm going to get a lot of that. And I am using double stitch round, and this is a mask to touch. No, this is fine touch, sorry. And it came in a set with this one. It was like six or seven brushes came in to a set. Master Touch ain't on sale this week. It was on sale last fall. Yeah, Master Touch and Fine Touch is not on sale this week, guys. I'm sorry. But that's the only time I would even recommend you to buy stuff at Hobby Lobby is when it's on sale. I hate it that they took the coupons away. We don't have, I mean, we got Michael's and Joanne's and uh, Hobby Lobby. It's always got here close to me. And uh, I shop at Hobby Lobby more than any of them. I don't care. I like Michael. I just don't like some of the employees at Michael's. And I don't like having this. The only thing I don't like about either one of the stores, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joanne, is the wait time of to check it out. And I know I've got people that would disagree with me on a lot of this stuff. But. A lot of times when I shop at Hobby Lobby, it's because they are Christian people. They, seem, they always play the Christian music and all. I am a Christian. I'm proud of it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not, but I am. Um, Really 
and I'm going to open this again. Hit the hair for this. Now y'all want to see what my hair dryer, what this really is? This is what my hair dryer is. I mean, the, what I use to dry my paintings with. It's part of And all you do, this is a Hot Tools Signal Interior Series. You pull this button off, twist it, and this comes off. And then I blow, use it as a blow dryer. Using is an old skinny sauce. If you got one, reuse it. It don't matter. It does not matter. Okay. okay, I'm going in, and I've got a but it's got a brush hot point on it, and I am going to try my best to clean this up. I 
out there by your civilian. Say hi, I'm Jesse Jamesy. I realize I'm out here but before, but by myself. No, not to see you, baby. I know, you miss and Jesse. She went to get a bag before you get give you a bag. That means she's gonna give you one tip. Now I'm going back in and I'm just walk up going from the tip of the panel to the inside with the piece. done with this. I hope y'all like this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to us and I will catch you next Wednesday for another review. This was on the Master Touch Maddie Gel. I do like it. I like it how it performs with the acrylic. The only thing I've used it with is the Master Touch Trillix, so. With that being said, I cannot vouch for any other brands. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.